The statement uh, consists broadly of uh, three parts. In the first part, uh, I would uh, uh, dwell upon the MPC's deliberations and the decision of the MPC. In the second part, I propose to give some forward guidance to financial markets. And in the third part, there are certain important announcements that we are making. And uh, finally, as I conclude, I propose to give some uh, I propose to spell out what would be the broad approach of RBI's policy uh, going forward. I request your patience. The newly appointed Monetary Policy Committee, MPC, with Dr. Ashima Goel, Prof. Jayantar Verma, and Dr. Sashank Vide as external members met on 7th, 8th, and 9th October in its first meeting and the 25th under the monetary policy framework that, has in, that was instituted in June 2016. I welcome the new members and thank them for their valuable contributions to the setting and conduct of monetary policy in India. I also take this opportunity to thank my colleagues and the teams in Reserve Bank of India for their analytical support and logistic assistance. The MPC evaluated the domestic and global macroeconomic financial conditions and voted unanimously to leave the policy repo rate unchanged at 4%. The MPC also decided to continue with the accommodative stance of monetary policy as long as necessary, at least through the current financial year and into the next year, to revive growth on a durable basis and mitigate the impact of COVID-19 while ensuring that inflation remains within the target going forward.